solid steel shop replaced by a hollow steel shop of the same material with internal diameter equal to half of the external diameter full stop find the diameter of hollow shaft and saving in material if the shear if the maximum allowable shear space in is same for the both shafts okay so first of all given data right on for solid shaft for solid shaft for solid shaft so diameter it is given d is equal to 60 mm 60 mm okay then for hollow shaft for hollow shaft the shear stress it will be get same for hollow and allowable shear stress it will be same for solid and hollow shaft okay so external diameter is equal to it is 0.5 of internal diameter 0.5 of internal diameter that is capital d it is external diameter small d it is internal diameter okay so first of all torque torque for solid shaft torque for solid shaft torque for solid shaft so t divided by ip ip it is for solid shaft polar moment of inertia we know that it is Pi d raised to four divided by thirty two. Pi into pi into pi into capital D raised to four divided by thirty two divided by thirty two divided by thirty two thirty is equal to is equal to F S divided by F S divided by R it is d by two. R it is R it is d by two. R it is d by two. Okay, d by two. So is equal to so T for solid T is equal to T is equal to. Pi into pi into capital D raised to four capital D raised to four divided by thirty two divided by thirty two into two divided by D two divided by D into F S. Into F. Okay. So, two under two sixteen to the thirty two. This D it will be get cancelled. This it will be D Q. D Q. Okay. Final equation for pi pi into pi into D Q divided by D Q. Divided by sixteen sixteen into F S into F S. So put all this value here. So pi into in terms of F S it will be get value pi into so D it will be diameter it is sixty cube sixty cube sixty cube divided by sixteen. Divided by sixteen into F S into F S. Okay. So T S is equal to in terms of F S it will be for for solid section. It will be pi into sixty cube divided by sixteen. It will be forty two point. Four one one into ten to the power three. Ten to the power three into F S F S. Okay. So now torque per solid. Hello. Now torque per hello. Torque per hello. Torque per hello. So 
here it is also for for hello so this one is key divided by for hello section it is for hello section pi into pi into Capital D rest four. Capital D rest four. Capital D rest four. Minus small D rest four. Minus small D rest four. Small D rest four. Divided by thirty two. Divided by thirty two. Divided by thirty two. Into into is equal to F S divided by R it is D by two R it is D by two D by two capital D by two okay so direct we can write down here equation two one the two sixteen two the thirty two so T for hello T for hello is equal to Pi, pi into capital D rest four, and that is capital D rest four minus small D rest four minus small D rest four minus small D rest four divided by sixteen D divided by sixteen D. Sixteen into D into F S into F S. We know that capital D is equal to it is capital of point five D. Okay, so all this I do. I into capital D is equal to and back it. What is given? So internal diameter it is half of external diameter. That is means this one that it is given. Internal diameter is equal to small d is equal to it will be d by two capital d by two capital d by two this means point five of capital d point five of capital d. Okay. Capital d is four. Capital D rest four minus minus in bracket point five capital D rest four point five capital D rest four capital D rest divided by sixteen D divided by sixteen D sixteen into D into F S into F S. The final equation it will be get pi pi into capital D raised to four. So this one final value so capital D raised to four point five raised to four. So one minus answer it will be point nine three seven five. Capital D rest four. Capital D rest four. Capital D rest four divided by sixteen D. Divided by sixteen D. Divided by sixteen into D into F S into F S. Okay. So final value of solid it will be get. So this D cube. And this D, it will be get cancelled. Okay. So this D rest four, this D it will be D cube. Okay. So for hello, it will be six pi into point nine three seven five nine three seven five divided by sixteen. 
so it will be 0 0.11840 into d cube into d cube into d cube into d cube into fs into fs fs okay so now we know that I will write here this. So, so allowable shear stress torque transmitted, transmitted, and allowable shear stress. And allowable shear stress, shear stress, shear stress is same is same in both cases. In both cases, in both cases. Okay, so that's why. So it will be th is equal to, ts is equal to th. So this one it will be T S it will be forty two point four one one into ten to the power three into F S is equal to so this one it is point one eight four zero into D cube D cube into F S into F S into F S. So it will be in terms of FS. This value it will be in terms of FS. So FS, FS, it will be same material. So that's why FS, FS, it will be get cancelled. So diameter of this shaft it is capital D is equal to. Okay. So 42.411 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 0 0.1840 raised to 1 by 3. Raised to 1 by 3. So it will be get. 61.31, 61.313 mm. Okay, so this one I did diameter of shaft. Okay, hello shaft, external diameter of hello shaft, and internal diameter it is small d is equal to 0.5 of, 0.5 of capital D. That is means into 0.5. So 30.5. Thirty point six five mm. Okay, so this one it is internal diameter of the hello shaft. Okay. So this one it is external diameter of hello shaft, and this one it is internal diameter. External diameter sixty one point three one three, and internal diameter thirty point six five. Now we need to calculate saving of material. Saving of material. Okay. Saving of material. Saving material. Saving of material. So is equal to saving material. How to calculate saving material? The area of this hello shaft. So phi into solid shaft. Area of solid shaft that is 60 square. 60 square. Phi d square divided by 60. Phi d square divided by 4. That is phi into 60 divided by 4. Minus minus area of solid shaft that is pi into pi into external diameter it will be sixty one point sixty one point three one square sixty one point three one square minus thirty point six five minus thirty point six five square Point six divided by four divided by four divided by four divided by four divided by pi into sixty square divided by four pi into sixty square divided by four. Find 60 square divided by 4. 
That is means this pi rest four, this pi rest four, this pi rest four, this pi rest four. It will get cancelled. Okay. So is equal to saving material sixty square minus in bracket. So sixty square. I will put this value three thousand six hundred minus sixty one point three one square minus. Thirty point six five square. So this value will be two eight one nine point four nine point four nine divided by three six zero divided by three six zero three six zero three six zero into hundred. So saving matter will be three six zero zero two eight one nine point four nine. You are right. Three six zero into hundred. So twenty one point six eight material to be saved. Twenty eight point six eight percent. So material saving it is. So material saving twenty one point six eight zero. Twenty eight point six eight zero percent. Is percent of material to be saved for that twenty eight point six eight one. 